and welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Sue. I'm your host, Truman State University President Sue Thomas. In each edition of the show, we answer some of your questions, submitted online at truman.edu slash tea time and placed inside our teapot here. So without any further ado, let's get started. Do you have any holiday traditions? Uh, yeah, actually, I have a number of them. For those who know me well, probably would not be surprised. Most of them involve food, right? So on, I was raised Christian, so we celebrate Christmas. Although I have to say, we also celebrate Hanukkah with my brother-in-law. But on Christmas Eve, we do this special baked pasta dish from Southern Italy that I got that recipe from my grandma many, many years ago. And it's so special to us that my daughter actually had it put on a cutting board for me. And then on Christmas morning, we have a special nut roll that was my other grandmother's recipe um, that came from Slovenia. Um, in addition to that, you'll find carbs are a big thing for me. We also do biscuits that my mother-in-law used to make. The other cool thing we do on Christmas Eve is when I was growing up, the neighborhood I was in was a lot of Catholic families. And so they would do luminaries every Christmas Eve, starting at 1030. You'd line them on your driveway or on your sidewalk and you lit them at about 1030. And the idea was you kept them lit until after midnight so baby Jesus would come into your house and bring you health and prosperity for the year. Oh, this is a long one. If I see you on campus sometime, would you be mad if I asked you to take a selfie with me? Uh, not mad at all. I actually get that request a whole bunch. I will have to tell you though, once we take the selfie, no need to show it to me to ask me if I like how it looks. I never like how I look in pictures. So if you are good with it, I am good with it. Oh, another long one. What is one piece of advice you wish someone had given you when you were a college student? You know, I think for this one is don't wish your life away, right? Lots of times when you're in college, you're thinking about what your next step is going to be, right? What happens when I graduate, right? What if you want to start a family? When am I going to start a family? When am I going to make money? Well, you always think about what's coming next. College is a really super cool time of your life where you get to be enormously self-focused, right? You get to study, you get to hang with friends, you get to have fun. Don't wish away your college years as you're thinking about what comes next. Really savor what's going on here. This is a really very cool place full of wonderful people and lots of great things to do. So don't wish it away. Enjoy your time that you're here. A shorter one. What is your favorite thing to do in Kirksville outside of Truman? So I love talent, right? So some of my favorite things in Kirksville allow me to see talent in one way or another. So going to Curtain Call Theater, right? Allows me to see local acting talent. Sue Ross Arts Center lets me see the really cool artists that we have around here. I also love going to Red Barn. And then um, when I get a chance, I love to go to the Greek Corner because I actually love their food. What's your astrological sign? I am an Aquarius. So I don't know whether that's good or bad, whether I fit with an Aquarius or not. But I will tell you the other cool thing about that is, is I know two other people on this campus who have the exact same birthday that I do. A really short one. Oh, what are the bells in the bell wall? Okay, so I know this story, but I'm gonna tell you, if you want the really good version of it, you have to talk to Zach Burton because he can give you all the wonderful details. So the bells in the bell wall were donated by someone called Joe Birdman. Um, Joe Birdman um, immigrated to the United States, um, was originally in Iowa, came down to Kirksville, was very civically minded, was actually the mayor of Kirksville, I think starting in 1960. And so he collected all of these bells and donated them to the university in 1967. And then the spring and summer classes of Truman of 1967 actually donated the money for the wall to be built. So a little trivia about that. 
The middle bell is from the Adair County Courthouse. And so, you know, there are renovations now being done with the Adair County Courthouse. So we're hopeful they will not ask for their wonderful bell back. And it is also the second hole of the informal Frisbee golf course on campus. I understand it's a par four, and I also understand lots of people bogey that hole. When students are traveling on sponsored Truman trips, are their meals provided? For example, sports teams, bands, debates, etc. So here's my understanding of that. It really depends upon the department who is sponsoring the trip. So some departments will pay for travel. They will also pay for meals. Um, other departments may only be able to afford to pay for travel and not for meals, or maybe only one of the meals. So I would say any student who's going on a Truman Sponsor trip needs to check with their particular department to see what is covered or what is not covered and how it's going to be covered. Sometimes it's per, as a per diem. Sometimes somebody could have a university P card that they could use. So I would say my best advice is check with your department on a sponsored trip and see what's covered. And what is the status of the LGBTQ plus center? Well, I actually have very good news about that. We have found a home for the center. It will be 101 Baldwin Hall. And Baldwin Hall is actually a great place to locate the center. The Center for Diversity and Inclusion is on that floor, the Interface Center, um, International, Study Abroad. And so I think it will be a very good place for the center. Um, everybody who's been informed have been very happy about that choice. And because it will be a part of the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, it will not require any additional resources. The resources for the Center for Diversity and Inclusion can be used to support that center as well. So that's going to do it for this episode of Tea Time with Sue. I hope you'll join me again next time. Remember, if you have a question for the show, go to truman.edu slash tea time for a chance to have it answered on a future episode. Thank you to everyone who makes Truman the special place that it is, including all of our faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and most importantly, our wonderful students. Thank you for watching and however you celebrate your holidays, I hope they're full of magic and happiness and love. <laughs>